Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this will be a review on the Rebore Killer Queen T-Rex figure. This is the plain version, they've also done a jungle version which is more of a green uh, with hints of yellow in there. This is the female from, well it's not officially from Jurassic Park but I'm pretty sure we can all agree that this has a very heavy resemblance to the T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park film. Uh, the green version I believe is the one that we might see in Jurassic Park 3 maybe. Uh, can't be sure on that, but I'm pretty damn sure this is the one from Jurassic Park, the original. Um, if you see the, the scene with Gallimimus uh, when the T-Rex comes out in the broad daylight and attacks them, uh, you can see the color scheme is exactly the same as this Rebore figure here. So a very impressive looking piece. The detail on this is absolutely exceptional. Uh, I've got a few other dinosaur figures by different companies such as Papo, uh, which I've reviewed in the past, but this is really is a next level situation. I didn't think the paint could get any better on these little dinosaurs, but this version from Rebore here has proven me wrong. The paint is just, it's on another level. The sculpt is perfect. And as you can see, and as I've said, it does bear a very striking resemblance to the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Now there are some you know articulated sections here we've got the arms that move the jaw opens and closes and the tail bends there's a nice big thick wire going through his tail so you can pose it you know sort of swishing to the left the right slightly up slightly down whatever you want to do but what i'm going to do now is take you on a little journey back in time and i've done a little photo session with uh, rexy here so let's have a look and see how this thing looks in the right environment So what you're about to see is some images that I took before filming the review and I had a great time taking these pictures. It reminded me of a photo session I did with a sideshow Yoda uh, from Nick um, where I used the same technique as I used in this video which was getting a dinner tray, quite a large you know, flat tray um, and covering it in earth and mud and little rocks and then placing it in front of the TV screen and then have mm. images on the background, you know, as of like the woods or the jungle. A uh, nice open mm. kind of scene there and then having the, the the subject, in this case the Rebore T-Rex, on the dinner tray, standing on the earth with the background behind him. And it just, it really does uh, create a very cool look here. It's pretty atmospheric, quite convincing. I mean, you know, you can mess around with filters mm. maybe and... Uh, experiment with lighting I was just trying to get the effect of the moonlight coming from uh, above kind of shining off his back and his head but the paintwork uh, is just just it's incredible and these pictures really show how realistic it looks uh, an amazing job on the paint the sculpt every little wrinkle and scale and just incredible the eyes are painted very kind of very alive very vibrant it has a very intense stare and the teeth, you know, they're just exceptional. They're very sharp looking. They look like a separate kind of material that, you know, that's been used on the rest of the piece. They really went to uh, great lengths to make the teeth look as good as possible on this. And they really did a good job having the arms be uh, poseable. You know, moving them up and down, that is very handy. And the jaw open and close, you know, that is a great feature. And looks, you know about as seamless as you can make it look when you're doing something like that it doesn't jump out at you you wouldn't look at the jawline and think oh hang on that looks weird it looks really good and the movable tail didn't pose the tail very much uh, during these pictures i wanted to keep it as balanced as possible um because it is just standing on the earth that i've laid out on the tray there but the backgrounds worked out good the backgrounds are actually from the game days gone uh, using its photo mode um, I was able to choose cool scenes and then, uh, you know, put the camera in the right kind of position and then take the photo in the game and then use it on the TV screen in the background. So you got some daytime shots, some nighttime shots, but I really had a good time doing this photo session. And like I said, very much reminded me of the time I did the photo session like this with Nick's sideshow Yoda from Empire Strikes Back. The same technique used by having Yoda standing on the tray with um, Dagobah behind him with uh, like little logs and rocks and stuff it was really convincing I mean I think some of these pictures are pretty convincing as well but I certainly had a good time taking them but we'll head back to the review now just wanted to show you some of the photography that I was able to do with a piece like this and like I said it was a lot of fun
let's just get a look at the packaging that the Rebor T-Rex will come to you in. Now, the box is smaller than the dinosaur itself because the tail is a separate piece. When you open this up, you'll see that the tail just slots in very easily. Some very mild assembly required. It's barely even uh, worth mentioning, really. It's such an easy thing to do. So if you do uh, purchase your figure and you think the box is a bit small and you're expecting a bigger box, that's why, because the tail is separate. Now we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... Uh, 14, 15 dinosaurs here. Now I'm not too sure if all of these have been released yet. Mm, they may have been. I need to do a bit more research. I want to get in touch with the company as well and see if they'd be interested in uh, you know working together because uh, the photography with dinosaurs is always a lot of fun for me. I like to really go for it and um, try to make it look like they're back in their own time in their own environment. So it's always a lot of fun to do. So I'd love to work with all of these eventually if I could. But you can see quite a few dinos to choose from here but yeah there is the box it's nice and simple during the review I'll also be showing you some other dinosaurs from other companies these are the raptors from Papo which I believe is a French company uh, but I didn't think it could get any better than this when I got these years ago I thought look at the paint job on these it's never gonna you know it can't get any better than that surely but you know the uh, rebore stuff is really really next level um, these are not really in scale with him though, or she should I say, this is a female T-Rex. Uh, so they're bigger than they, they should be, so you can't really pose them together. But the other uh, Papo T-Rex I have is this one here, which was the very first one I ever bought. And it's really cool with this one because it does uh, look very much like the front cover from Jurassic Park, you see? Very, very similar. Obviously this one's more green and uh, the teeth are a little bit more kind of blunt in their appearance they don't look anywhere near as sharp whereas with the the rebore t-rex the teeth are incredible we're gonna get a much better look at that in a minute just wanted to show you what i've got here so we've got a papo t-rex we've got the rebore t-rex we've got some papo raptors and i've actually got a few other things i actually have another papo uh, t-rex that's in a very similar pose to this one but frustratingly enough, I just can't track it down right now. I've been looking all around the house, uh, up in the loft, everywhere, and I can't seem to track that T-Rex down. So if I do eventually find my other Papo T-Rex that's in a very similar pose to the Rebore one here, then I will do a comparison for you because I was really looking forward to doing that, but I can't find it. We are missing a T-Rex. That is not a sentence you want to say, especially if you're working at Jurassic Park. Anyway, let's get in depth with this thing, show you what it can do, and just show you how amazing all the details are. Now I want to show you the detail on the teeth because they are really really well done they're nice and sharp so a lot of these dinosaur figures that I've seen in the past the teeth are kind of blunted kind of rounded at the edge just to make them look very <laughs> non-threatening whereas the teeth on this one are definitely not you know they are really sharp looking they actually feel quite sharp as well and the kind of weird I mean very realistic kind of almost translucent weird kind of look that teeth have i don't know i've never seen a uh, t-rex's teeth in person apart from maybe kind of at the Mat uh, natural history museum uh, but look at the detail look at the teeth going up into the uh, the inside of the mouth there like that is crazy and open and close the jaw if you so desire look at that Rawr. that is cool it's very cool. Mouth opens nice and wide. Great detail on the tongue as well. So really impressed with that. Just really impressed with the uh, the work. Like on the top and the inside of the mouth. That's really quite exceptional detail right there. But look at the, the views in this thing, man. Any angle. This looks absolutely crazy. In the best way possible. So, articulated arms, they can move, both of them, and 
and the tail that just attaches see like that that just slots in and that's all the assembly that is required now I might actually um, even though you can't see the seam really I was thinking about super gluing it in place like permanently locking it absolutely tight so that there'd be no seam at all from this angle you can't really see the seam especially if he's turned slightly that way but yeah the tail it does have a wire look at that so you can bend the tail however you want so I'm just gonna have mine slightly up slightly slightly going upwards awesome stuff really enjoyed doing the photography with this thing it was an absolute joy all right so we got the rebore and the Papo T-Rex quite close together here just so we can see I mean there is a, a bit of a difference in the amount of detail I mean I have to say Papo's paint job is still incredible but uh, there's just if you look at the, the skin it's just more obvious you know it just jumps out at you more it's just more detail this really does you know looks like a museum piece it is very impressive Uh, just the teeth are a little bit more child friendly, shall we say, on the Papo. Whereas with the the Rebore, there's none of that business. It's just sheer accuracy. Just let's just do T Rex teeth, and there they are. They look really, really good. But I do like both. And I'll just let you see with the mouth closed look as well. So, yeah. Not really digging the teeth on the Papo at the moment, but I do like the look on its face. It reminds me of the moment in part three where they run into that carcass and they think they're safe. And then the T-Rex raises its head and then chases after him and then gets in a big fight with the Spinosaurus or whatever it was called. But yeah, again, the teeth on this one are just making it look so much better and the finer detail on the skin, the scales, whatever, and the paint job as well, just, it's really, really impressive. But they both are. I mean, I can't take anything away from the Papo. It's really, really nicely done. Very cool paint job. I mean, this is just a different beast. This is, uh, you know, very much like the original from the first movie. Rexy. And here's a little look from the front view. Both in very different poses. Yes. You know. It obviously uh, there's a strong resemblance to this pose here. I mean the head's not in the right position, but I mean it's it's pretty close. But then the colour is more like this one. And there is the Papo Raptor next to the T-Rex. I mean, the Raptor looks a bit big to me, but then again, it's two completely different companies here. So yeah, whatever. But just so you can see a little visual comparison. That's how things are stacking up. Do you guys want to see a review on a great white shark figure? I mean, it's, it's not much, but it's the best one I could find on eBay. Um, but I don't know, I've had it for a while, and I've never really felt the urge to review it. But you never know, maybe you guys would actually want to see a review on that. Let me know if you do. Alright guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts and wrap up the review. But first I want to give a shout out to another YouTuber called Nicholas Hostetter. And it was because of his video that I discovered this piece even existed. So many thanks to Nicholas for his cool review, and do check him out. I'll uh, try and leave a link underneath this video for his channel. You can go ahead and... Uh, you know, check him out. He's got all kinds of dinosaur figure reviews and uh, Godzilla. He's your man for that. Uh, plenty of Godzilla reviews on there. And Aliens and Predator. Some other cool stuff. But yeah, saw his review and went straight online. I literally said that in the comments under his video as well. I said, like, I'm literally going to buy it right now. Because it just looked incredible. And it was £40. So, not cheap. But considering what you're getting, the level of uh, detail here. And the fact that it really, literally looks like a museum piece. Like... Like when I used to go to the uh, Natural History Museum, uh, they'd have like the huge T-Rex skull, uh, and then they'd always have um, like a really highly detailed little model beside it, 
to show you what the actual you know beast looked like as far as you know what they thought at the time they're always discovering new stuff like maybe they had feathers and and stuff but um, I've lost touch a little bit now with the uh, the more recent discoveries when it comes to our scaly friends here um, but back when I was a kid you know I was absolutely obsessed I knew all the names like I remember some of them like Dino Nicus and uh, Struffio Mimis and stuff like that you know like gnarly names but T-Rex was nice and easy to remember uh, but this was essential because I thought well for £40 I can have you know an absolutely awesome representation of uh, the T-Rex from the original movie the original film that I saw five times at the cinema I've never done that ever or since with a movie but Jurassic Park was so unbelievably it was a total game changer I was about 12 years old and it was the first time we saw dinosaurs like that on screen and they looked so real I can't tell you what it felt like as a 12 year old kid you know, sitting in the cinema for the first time watching it being obsessed with dinosaurs all my life you know to see that had to see it again and again and again and again absolutely incredible so i do highly recommend this piece by rebor they've done an incredible job and there is also a paint variant version which is called the jungle version which is more of a green uh, with a bit of yellow in there definitely check it out then um, you know there's plenty of videos on youtube i may get it i probably won't though uh, you know you've got to be careful with the money but I think one's good enough for me, and this is the one I chose to get, the plain version, because it's the one that looks the most like the original from Jurassic Park. Again, that scene in the daylight with the uh, Gallimimus, and it just, you know, she comes out and munches on one of them. This is pretty much exactly the same kind of color tone, so I had to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, check me out on Instagram and Facebook, D Night Free Free Free. You can click on the link underneath the video and check out my Patreon page if you want to help the channel out. Appreciate all you guys out there. See you real soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.